everybody, this is Ann from DuckTapeAndDenim.com and I am going to be stenciling today this Home Sweet Home. It's from um, Stencil Revolution. Here's where you can find them, DuckTapeAndDenim.com slash Stencil Revolution. That is my uh, affiliate link, so I'll earn a little bit extra if you use that link. I appreciate that. And here is what I am stenciling it on. This is a board, just a raw finished board. It was the lid of a wine crate that I bought at um, a garage sale. And I am not gonna sp spray any adhesive on the back. I am just gonna use washi tape and see how this works. So here's my stencil brush. Seems like I've been doing a lot of stenciling lately and this is my favorite brush from the 90s. <laughs> which goes to show you if you get a good stencil brush it's going to last you a long time and I'm using this paint and I'm only using this paint because this is the paint that I had it's black it's called wrought iron black it's patio paint so I guess I could put this um, outside if I wanted to because it says weather and water resistant adheres to terracotta concrete wood etc so we'll see. I'm not sure if I would put this outside, but I might. I might hang it on the door. <clears throat> and I'm going to assume that this wood is going to take a little more paint than if I was painting on a surface that had already been painted because it's probably going to soak up more. So like, like with most stenciling projects, the main thing is to not put too much paint, can you see that, on the, on the brush. So you offload it, which means you dip it in the paint and then you scrub it off a little bit. And then I'm going to start pouncing. I'm not trying to make it solid right now. I'm going to go over... Stenciling usually goes pretty fast. Try not to, try to resist the urge to like paint it on or, because then you can get paint underneath the stencil, especially because it's not glued down or anything. So I just kind of pounce as straight up and down as I can. I kind of like those little hearts on there. It's not, it's still not taking a whole lot of paint. And I like the size of this. I think it's about an eight and a half by 11. Because when you order them from Stencil Revolution, you can get the same sign in um, any size from, I think the smallest is like five by six or maybe four by six all the way up to like 30 inches. So you could get this huge or little tiny. Do I use the same size brush for all stencils? Pretty much. I do have some little foam brushes I sometimes use too. And I have some little tiny foam brushes that I could use on little ones. You can get the um, stencil from ducttapeanddenim.com slash stencil revolution right here. That is my um, affiliate link. But I do really like their stencils. They're thick. They are really sturdy. I've used I've used them for a lot of different projects. If you go back and look at my videos from the past few weeks, and like I said, you can order it in any size. So you pick out what you like, and then you can get them big or small. And they do have a lot of fall ones and some Halloween too. If y'all if y'all do Halloween. Now I'm just going to go back and kind of make it a little, little bit darker. I try not to put the paint on too thick right at the beginning. I try to put on a couple of coats and I can tell like right there and right there I think I want a little more on the heart. Um, and like with pretty much everything that I do that's paint, I will tell you this is just paint so if I mess up it's not going to be a huge deal because especially on rustic wood like this, if 
I do get paint underneath the stencil. I can come back with some sandpaper when it's dry and sand it off and make it look even more rustic. Kind of like I did it on purpose. <laughs> so that's one reason I really like stencils because I love painting and I love making signs. Ooh, did you see that I moved it? <laughs> but I really don't like my handwriting all that much. And it really stresses me out to hand letter signs. So this is so much easier. All right. You know, think that's enough? Because I don't want it solid, solid. I want it to be, I want it to look rustic. So I think that's it. I'm just gonna pull off the washi tape. I just used some washi tape that I had. And let's see. <gasps> Ooh, I like it. Okay, what do y'all think? Home sweet home. And I didn't even stress out over the hand lettering part. <laughs> So I think what I'm gonna do is come back and drill a couple of holes, put a little wire hanger on it, and because I used patio paint that can be put outdoors, I can hang it on my front door or my back door. So I'm kind of liking that. Well, I appreciate y'all for uh, joining me today. I am gonna go figure out how to hang this on my door. Bye-bye.